Hello and welcome to News 18 Tech. My name is Dara Mansoor Ali and it's time for the Pixel 6a review. Now the Pixel 6a is the only Pixel 6 series smartphone to make its way to the Indian market officially. Now Google does not typically launch its flagship Pixel smartphones in India, but the company has been launching the A series Pixels constantly barring last year's Pixel 5a. So the Pixel 6a has been launched in India at a price of 43999 rupees and is available for 39999 with the launch discount. Now I have been using this phone for over a week as my primary smartphone and in this video I will tell you everything you need to know about the Pixel 6a what I like about the smartphone what I don't like about the Pixel 6a and finally if you should spend 43999 rupees on the Pixel 6a let's begin So the Pixel 6a brings that Pixel 6 dual tone Pixel 6 design to India it has the same design as its elder siblings the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro with this dual back panel and the camera visor running through it the camera module is not as thick or as protruded from the body as we have seen on the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro but it brings this distinct look to the Indian market which is appreciated there is a glass back on the Pixel 6a which gives the smartphone a certain premiumness in hand the size is great this is a 6.1 display and i personally am a big fan of small phones so this is almost the perfect size for me up front things are rather simple there is a hole punch display with slightly thicker bezels than what we are used to but that's negligible and you won't ever notice them um the display also curves slightly around the end but that curve starts after the bezel so it's effectively a flat edge display overall it's a good design it bring gives the dis- distinct look to the Pixel 6a it feels premium in your hand and most importantly it's lightweight and compact coming to the display on the Pixel 6a it's rather disappointing now this is a 6.1 inch 1080p oled display with a 60 hertz refresh rate now a 60 hertz refresh rate on a 44000 smartphone in 2022 is not justified at all because there is competition which is offering double the refresh rate with an amoled panel at a lower price i came from a 120 hertz display to the pixel 6a and this 60 hertz refresh rate just felt slow and choppy at all times now in terms of color accuracy and detail It's good enough. It's a 1080p, so it has limited capability. But of course, you can do your daily tasks and watching YouTube videos is a good experience on this device. In terms of brightness, it's not the brightest display out there, but it gets the job done, and you can use the Pixel 6a in all kinds of environments during your daily usage. All in all, it's not the best display in this segment, and Google could have put a better display on the Pixel 6a. Now coming to performance the Pixel 6a is powered by Google's Tensor chip the same chip that powers the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro so this is a good performer during my usage i did not feel any slowdowns or did not witness any app crashes with the Pixel 6a in fact the smartphone was quite a performer i was coming from a Samsung Galaxy S22 before this which is a flagship with a Snapdragon 8 gen 1 processor and the pixel 6a did not feel much of a downgrade not once did i feel that i'm using a lower power smartphone during my daily usage and this performed just as well as any other smartphone of course this is not a flagship smartphone but it's not far behind in terms of day to day usage the google tensor also manages thermals pretty well and this does not heat up as much as a phone this small should be heating up it does of course heat up during charging or recording videos or heavy usage but it's bearable it's not the worst heating that we have seen on a mid range android smartphone now while the google tensor chip is very good in terms of performance and in terms of managing the thermals what will make the people buy a pixel 6a is the android experience is the software experience now in my reviews i have always said that the software experience is what matters the most for a daily user and this i believe is the best android experience one can get the pixel 6a runs on raw clean stock android 11 there is no bloatware there are no unnecessary permissions and access there is nothing it is just your basic android ui with no fancy or complicated icons and themes 
using the Pixel also gives you Android features that are not there on other smartphones. Features like Live Transcribe, Live Translate, your Magic Eraser, more camera features, unlocked editing tool for Google Photos and more elaborate Google experience. It's a proper stock Android experience at its best. Now you also get all the security and feature updates before almost all manufacturers and the Pixel 6a has the developer settings on by default. Further, you can also try out the Android 13 beta if you want, something I have not done yet, but I look forward to doing that. The Pixel 6a is a great performer and offers the best Android experience any smartphone in the Indian market has to offer. Coming to battery, the Pixel 6a uses a 4400 mAh battery unit, which Google claims puts out a 24-hour battery backup for a daily average user. Now, let me tell you that this 24-hour claim is not a stretch. During my usage of the Pixel 6a as my primary phone for more than a week, it constantly gave me a 7 7.5 hour screen time, which is great battery life for a smartphone this size. Charging on the Pixel 6a is also quite decent. It is 18 watt fast charging, so the smartphone charges from under 10% to a full 100% in about one and a half hours or something, which is good enough for all kinds of users. So since it is a Google Pixel review, I'm sure a lot of you were eagerly waiting for this part, the camera. Now the Pixel 6a uses a dual camera setup with a 12 megapixel primary camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide shooter. The primary camera on this Google Pixel 6a is the same 12 megapixel that Google has used on all Pixel devices before the 6 and the 6 Pro. The image quality out of this 12 megapixel shooter, however, is great as you'd expect from a Pixel device. Now, the hardware is not as strong as we're used to seeing these days, and the images might feel low quality in the viewfinder before you click them. But once you click the image and Google's processing does its thing, the results are very nice and vibrant. The images are nicely detailed and sharp to look at. Google's Night Sight also works brilliantly with the Pixel 6a and the images clicked in Night Sight are also quite sharp and detailed. The colors might seem a bit too blown up to some users, but I've seen that most users like a little pop in their color, which the Pixel 6a's camera does pretty well. Now Google Pixel's portraits are also set to be the best out there since many years and this is no different. The camera does a brilliant job in cutting the subject and blurring the background. The portraits on the Pixel 6a look different from any other smartphone out there. The details on the subject, the edge detection, the background blur, everything is really good quality. This camera is really good quality despite its low megapixel count. So that was the Google Pixel 6a. Now the smartphone comes with a lot of good features but disappoints also in some aspects. Now it is a great performer and offers probably the best Android experience in any smartphone in the Indian market. So does that make it worth the 43,999 price tag? Hardware wise, no. There are better specs devices at a lower price available in the Android market right now. So if you are somebody who games or does high performance tasks on your smartphone, you should look the other way. However, if you are someone who believes in a hassle-free experience, who rates software over everything else in their smartphone, then the Google Pixel 6a should definitely be a consideration. But we would recommend you looking for a good deal on this device as the 43999 price tag is still tough to justify. Had Google put a high refresh rate display on the Pixel 6a, it would have been the easiest Android smartphone to recommend. So that was it. Thank you for watching. This is Dara Mansoorili signing off and stay tuned to News 18 Tech for all the tech happenings in India and across the world.